Hello, in this mini tutorial I'm going to teach how to make a character patrol between a set of points. When a point is reached, we will wait a few seconds and then head over to the next point. So firstly, I have a simple terrain setup here made out of elongated cubes. These cubes are held in an empty game object container called environment. On our environment game object let's go to static and select navigation static. We'll then ask if we also wish to affect the children, so let's hit yes. Then let's go to Window, AI, Navigation. In the Bait tab, let's increase the agent radius and step height to stop the character from getting too close to walls and clipping inside them whilst moving around. Finally, let's hit Bait. We can now see that all walkable areas have been marked with a blue overlay. Then let's go to our character and add a nav mesh agent component. Let's adjust the base offset and radius values so that the green cylinder fits nicely onto the character. Then let's change the speed to a higher value. I'll add 8 for now. Finally, let's create a script called Patrol AI and open it in Visual Studio for editing. First, let's add a using UnityEngine.ai statement to the top. Then, let's create a public transform array called Patrol Points. After, let's create an integer called Current Patrol Point Index to keep track of which patrol point our character is currently at. Then, let's create a nav mesh agent called Nav. Next, let's create a float called current waiting time. This float will hold the current amount of time that our character has been waiting at a point. Then, let's create another float called max waiting time. This float will hold the maximum amount of time that our character should wait at a patrol point. In start, let's get the nav mesh agent component from our game object and assign it to nav. Then, let's set our current patrol point index to minus 1. After, let's set our current waiting time and max waiting time to zero. Below update, let's create a new method called go to next point. If patrol points dot length is not equal to zero, then let's set the current patrol point index to itself plus one in brackets mod patrol points dot length. This modulus operator will find the remainder when dividing the current patrol point index by the length of the patrol points array. This is useful as when the end of the array is reached, the index will be set back to zero. After, let's set the nav's destination to patrol points current patrol point index dot position. Then back in start, let's call this go to next point method so that the character will move to the first point. In update, if our nav is less than 0.5 away from its current target point, if our max waiting time is 0, let's give it a random number between 3 and 8. After, if the current time that our character has been waiting for is the same as or has exceeded the random maximum waiting time value, let's reset the values of current and max waiting time and go to the next point. Else, increase the current waiting time by time dot delta time. Then, back in Unity, let's drag our new script onto our character. Next, we need to create the points that our character will walk in between. To do this, let's create an empty game object, reset its transform, and then rename it to point. Then, let's drag this to the first position we want our character to walk to. Then, let's duplicate it and place it in the second position we want our character to walk to. Let's keep duplicating and placing points until we've created all of the points that we want our character to patrol in between. Finally, let's go back to our character and select the lock on the top right corner of the inspector. This is so that our view won't change when we select our points. Let's highlight all of our points and then drag them to patrol points. Let's also select the lock icon again so that the inspector view will revert back to normal. Then, when we hit play, our character will move to our first point, wait a random amount of time, and then move over to the second point. When our character reaches the final point, it will wait for a few seconds again and then head back towards the first point. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial, I'll see you in the next.